I'm going to show you how to sh configure a shared folder on Microsoft Windows 20 server, 2016 server. Right click your folder and go to share with specific people. And here you're going to you're going to click find people and advanced and find now and I actually added who I'm gonna uh, put in there already so you know just uh, just find find one of them I'll just click them just to show you the whole process click OK And click share. And done. And then the next step, you're going to right click, go to properties. And up here at the top, go to sharing. Now you have a few different options here. First, we'll go to the share icon. From here, Notice you have everyone it's shared with. You can actually, from here, you can right click. You can change their permissions. You can remove them. And uh, so there's a few options there. I'm going to click cancel. So before we clicked on share, now click on advanced sharing. From here, notice. I have already selected share this folder. You'll need to select that. And as well as you can, the first time you go, you're, you're going to have the option if it's your first time to change this share name. So um, just keep that in mind if you wanted to change it for whatever reason. It By default, the share name is the, sh is the actual file or the folder name. You can also limit the number of simultaneous users. And from here, go to permissions. Okay, so notice you can uh, give, you can change the controls here. You can add or remove uh, groups or individuals. So I'm going to click cancel. And then you're going to need to click, if you haven't already, caching. And then on this, the probably the key thing for most people would be to click this, all files and programs that users open from the shared folder are automatically available offline. And by default, it checks optimize for, per, for performance. So go, up, go ahead and click OK. And click OK. And you should be good to go. I hope this helps. Thank you for watching.